tips and techniques for hiring a new employee. In this clip, I want to talk about networking. We all know the value of networking for our business, you know, talking to people, letting people know what we do, and the more people who know what we do, the better chances we have of drumming up additional business, coming up with uh, sources for our materials and our suppliers, and also coming out with different sources where we can sell our product or service. But networking can be an extremely valuable tool when you're hiring. If you have decided that you're going to hire somebody within your organization, one of the ways to, to really assist you in this process is to go to your, your coworkers, your employees, your existing people, and ask them if they know anybody who might like this position. You will have your job description in mind, so you know specifically what you're hiring. The reason why this is very valuable is the employee is not going to try to bring somebody on that isn't going to do their job, because if this person they bring on doesn't do their job, it's going to reflect back on the person who did the reference. Number two, it's going to reflect bad on just getting the job done. It will negatively affect the workplace. So although you might have a nepotism rule or an anti-nepotism policy in terms of hiring family, that doesn't mean you shouldn't go to your employees because they might have friends and uh, know people from their social circle that would be ideally suited for the company. The second thing is if somebody is going to, from your existing company, is going to try to bring somebody on, they're going to positively market your company. They're going to talk positively about the, the situation. The new employee who has applied for the position or the, the potential applicant who has applied for the position will have more information about what the company is really about. And if they have applied, then they have a better knowledge of the position and there's a better chance that this employee is going to work out long term. So number one, it's also to find good applicants that will work well with your existing company. Talk to your existing employees. And of course, this is much less expensive than placing job ads and going to job boards and things like that. So as a first option, speak to your employees and, and your network group to see about finding your new employee.